Hi, I'm Maria Clark and I'm a member of the Women's Network here at the College and I bring the patient and public perspective to the Core Curriculum Committee. Hello, I'm Alastair Campbell. I'm a consultant in obstetrics and gynaecology in Edinburgh and I have the role at the RCAG of being uh, chair of the Core Curriculum Committee. Alistair, could you explain a little bit about what the obstetrics and gynaecology curriculum is? Yes, I'd be very happy to do that. So the obstetrics and gynaecology curriculum is a, a seven-year programme which prepares doctors to be a consultant or a specialist in obstetrics and gynaecology. So for many doctors, after they qualify as a doctor, they do a two-year foundation programme and uh, then we'll do seven years of postgraduate training. And the GMC um, asked the college to write a curriculum which covers, um, I guess, the training of those doctors in both technical and non-technical skills. And I'm a member of the um, committee. Um, so what role do you think that women have to play as patient and service user members of the curriculum committee? Well, I think it's really important um, for everything in healthcare to actually reach out to the people who are using the services um, to actually find out um, their role um, and in terms of the, hear their opinions and what they feel are important for how we train doctors in the future. And I suppose in the development of our new curriculum, um, then um, we've led on that by um, involving obviously the Women's Network and uh, yourself and your colleagues, but also done a number of public insight um, events, including workshops and webinars, which I think have been hugely um, important and really have guided us and helped shape uh, the curriculum as to how it should be. Okay. I, I would agree with a lot of that. I, I found um, being on the committee to be really insightful and it's allowed me to bring a lot of the experience that I've got working with local partic patient participation groups as a trustee of a local fa uh, charity forging families to be able to bring the voices of the people that I work with and it's been a really good experience for me to be able to bring that. So it's interesting as well to hear that um, your perception of what the role is and what we can bring to the table by being involved with the committee. Well, I think we all have a common goal. We want you to produce really you know, high quality doctors to deliver really safe, high quality care. And I think in terms of it's really important to have all the key stakeholders involved, isn't it? At a really Absolutely. early stage. Absolutely. Rather than traditionally what sometimes happens is you ask for opinion right at the end, which doesn't really work yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you, Alice. So that's been a really interesting discussion. And thank you everybody for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you.